Hey, Jane. Yeah, David. Is there something wrong? Did it ever occur to you that Joseph has been improving his behavior? Um, yes, now that you mentioned it, Joseph has been very cooperative with us ever since we took him to therapy the other day. Yeah, I just wonder why our son became a troublemaker in the first place. Maybe we should go upstairs to his room and ask him. Maybe he'll give us a good reason why he caused trouble. Wait, I think I hear Joseph coming downstairs right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, Joseph, what's the matter? Why are you crying? Because I'm so sorry for everything. Okay, Joseph. No, no, it's not okay. I disrespected you and our family way too much. I regret all my actions, but you probably hate me for everything I've done. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. Aw, oh, Joseph, don't ever think thoughts like that. You may have caused trouble in the past, but no matter what you do, we will always love you. Yeah, Joseph. In fact, if it'll make you feel better, why don't you tell us why you became a troublemaker in the first place? Okay, well, the main reason I became a troublemaker is because we haven't spent much time with each other as much. In fact, Arthur, Kate, DW, and I have not spent time with each other since we were little, and I've been feeling really lonely because of that. Oh no. So that's why you misbehaved a lot in the past? Because you were trying to get attention for yourself? Well, yes, but also because of loneliness, which is also why I've been hanging out with Karen and Arthur, despite that they're both a bad influence on me. Ah, Joseph. Don't ever feel like you're alone. If you wanted a little attention, you could always come to us. DW had the exact same reason why she became a troublemaker in earlier years. And Joseph, I know that your brother and your sisters haven't been spending time with you since you were a little boy, especially since Arthur has been too busy with college. But keep in mind that just because you grow up doesn't mean you grow apart, your sisters still love you, and probably would be happy to spend time with you. But there are times when people have responsibilities and aren't always going to have time for two things at once. You get that? Yes, I do. And thank you mom and dad for everything, and I'm sorry for what I've done. Of course. Anytime Joseph, and we forgive you. I think I need to go upstairs, I believe I owe three of my siblings an apology. You do what you need to do son, I'm sure they'll forgive you. Come in. <laughs> Joseph? What's wrong? Why are you crying? Hey, it's going to be okay. You know you can tell me anything, Joseph. Oh, Kate, okay. I'm so sorry. You're sorry? For what? For everything I did to you. I tried to force you to come outside and play with me last year, when you were too busy to do so, and I tried to get you into trouble for that. And I even ditched your school play to go to a Wonder Pets live show with Karen and Arthur. I was honestly heartbroken when I saw the sad look on your face that day. I'm so sorry I hurt you Kate, you probably hate me for what I did. Joseph, you know that is not true at all. You might have been a troublemaker in the past, but I still love you, and I always will. Thank you so much sis. I love you too, I'm glad that you're not resenting me. So, does this mean you're not going to cause trouble anymore? Of course not. In fact, I became a troublemaker because we never spent time together. In fact, you, DW, Arthur, and I haven't spent much time together since we were little kids. I felt so lonely, to the point where I had to make new friends that are entitled Karens or bullies. Ah, uh, Joseph, if you were feeling lonely, you could have just said something. Me and DW could have spent more time with you as much as you needed. Joseph, I know me, DW, and Arthur have been too busy with school, and we know that we need an education. But Joseph, please always remember that we always have your back, and there is nothing more important or strong than family. Thank you so much for understanding, Kate. Anytime, brother. And I'm glad that you're finally giving up on being a troublemaker. Thank you, Mary. 
I'm sure DW will forgive you. Come in. <laughs> Oh my goodness, Joseph? Why are you crying? What happened? Um, Joseph, why are you hugging me? Because, I want to apologize to you, for everything I did in the past. I tried to get you suspended from school months ago by posing as you, and I also ruined your job interview, and now you couldn't get the job you were interviewing for. I'm not lying when I say I'm truly sorry for doing all those awful things to you, DW. You Ah, uh, of course not Joseph. You might have caused trouble in the past, but no matter what you do, I could never hate you. Thank you so much DW. You're the best. I love you too. Here's a tissue Joseph. Now don't cry anymore. It's okay. Thanks sis. If it'll make you feel any better, why don't you tell me why you became a troublemaker in the first place? Okay. Well, it's because we barely spend any time together. In fact, we haven't spent much time with each other since we were little kids, and I felt really lonely, which is also why I became friends with Tom, Joey, Karen, and Arthur, even though they are troublemakers. So that's why you became a troublemaker? Because you were feeling a little lonely? Yeah, basically. Aw oh, Joseph, why didn't you just say something? Well, probably because you and Kate were too busy with your schoolwork that you probably would not want to talk to me. Joseph, you know very well that that's not true. Neither me, nor Kate, nor Arthur would ever put any else before you or even each other. It's just that there are some times where we have responsibilities, and we all are only one person that can't do two things at once. Please remember Joseph, that we will always love you, and after we get done with our things, we will always have time afterwards to spend time with you. I know, I see that now. And I promise DW, I'll never cause any more trouble ever again. You won't? I'm so happy to hear that, and I'm also proud of you for finally admitting your wrongdoings. You have my gratitude sis. Now, I think I got to get to my phone, because I need to make an important phone call to our big brother. You do that Joseph, I hope Arthur forgives you too. Alright, time to call Arthur. Hello. Hello. Is this you, Arthur? It's Joseph. Joseph. This is unusual. You usually never call me. Yeah, I know. You're not too busy, are you? Not really. I just came out of my class and decided to relax on the bench. Why do you ask? Well, I called you because I wanted to tell you that I'm really sorry for everything I did. You're not lying again, are you? No. I'm not. I threw a tantrum at Walmart last year over not getting a Barney toy. I disrespected you when you were watching over me when mom and Kate were at our doctor's appointment. Lastly, I even tried to get you suspended from college. I'm not lying when I say I'm deeply sorry for doing all those awful things to you big bro, and please forgive me. It's alright little bro. I see that you are finally admitting your mistakes, but why don't you tell me why you became a troublemaker in the first place? It's because of loneliness, we haven't spent any time together since we were kids. You, DW, and Kate were so busy with your work that I felt like you didn't care for me anymore. Joseph. Don't ever think that, we're family, and we always care for you. But please understand that when people grow up, they have to have responsibilities, and we can't always do two things at once. I'm so sorry that you feel that way though Joseph. I'll tell you what Joseph, when I'm done with my college semester this December, and when I come home for Christmas, I promise that we can spend as much time together as you need, just you and me, a little bro time. How does that sound? Really? You do that, for me? Of course Joseph, what are brothers for? Thank you so much Arthur, you're the best, and I love you. Anytime little brother, and I love you too. 
Well, I have to get going, I need to go and buy some lunch, but I will see you this Christmas. Same to you big bro, and I wish you the best of luck with your college semester. Joseph Christopher Reed, we are so proud of you right now. You mean, you were both listening to that whole call? Yes, every last word of it. And we are proud of you for not only realizing your mistakes, and improving your behavior, but also for apologizing to each of your siblings. Maybe we should reward you for this. I appreciate that mom, but I feel like there's just one more thing I need to do. Does this house have a webcam that I could borrow? Alright then, the camera and tripod are now set up, so let's do this. Hi everyone, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Joseph, Joseph Christopher Reed, and I've done some pretty bad and unpleasant things over the years that I regret. I acted entitled at the Go Animate City Community Pool simply because I was told to remove my goggles, the next thing I did was that I tried to force Emma Johnson to act childish like how they used to behave, and I tried to force Kelly to act entitled just like her delusional, crazy mother. I even disrespected my babysitter Catherine when she rightfully called me out on that. I even disrespected Dave and Mrs. Gray when they were both babysitting me. I also even changed the school lunch menu at Lakewood Elementary with hamburgers, pizza, and fries when I could have brought my own lunch to school. Before that happened I had to attend summer school and I got four strikes at summer school for calling Miss Morton and Miss Martin clone, throwing my textbook onto the ground, throwing my lunch on the floor when I was served spinach, and playing Apex Legends on my Xbox in school when I should have been playing that games. I even brought my PlayStation 5 to school and I never should have done so. I became friends with Tom and Joey, which I realized was my biggest mistake ever, because not only did I help them get Brian held back from middle school, but I also helped them berate Dave and his family when they were at Dave and Buster's, and told them they were too old for that place, even though Dave and Buster's is for people of all ages. All I'm saying is that I am truly, deeply, extremely sorry for all the bad things I've done in the past and I wish to change my ways for the better. Dave, Emma, Brian, and Catherine if any of you are watching this, I'm sorry for everything I did to you. And as for Mrs. Stillwater, and the now retired Principal Tingley, I want to say I'm also deeply sorry for the disrespect I gave to both of you, and I never should have called Mrs. Stillwater an entitled Catherine, when she was simply doing her job. And I'm especially sorry for installing one of her OS on her computer. I deeply apologize to everyone I've heard, and I promise I'll never cause trouble ever again, and I will most likely change my ways for the greater good. Anyways, this is Joseph Christopher Lee, signing off, like, comment, and subscribe. Alright then, now to hook this camera up to my laptop using the USB, and I will post the video on YouTube. Let's see how the video is doing. Wow, I see a handful of good comments here. This is just great, everyone forgives me. I just wonder what Miss Stillwater, Miss Tingley, and Miss Morgan have to say about this, especially since Miss Morgan is the new principal of Lakewood Elementary. Let's see what Principal Morgan has to say, maybe I can go back to Miss Stillwater's class. Oh man, well, there has to be a bright side to this right? Alright, well in that case I better work hard in school then. Well, now that that's taken care of, I think it's time I call up some now ex-friends. Good afternoon Joseph. How are you? Wait. Why do you look so angry? It's because I'm proud to tell you both that I'm officially done with you too. I'm officially giving up on being a troublemaker. Absolutely not. No way are we letting another person betray us. Yay. You are not leaving us Joseph. 
Because if you do, we will. Shut up. Karen and Arthur, you guys won't be doing anything, because I'm going to get my mom to call the police, to keep both of you off of our property, maybe even put a restraining order on both of you, Taryn, and Larry Loud. No. Joseph, you can't do that to us, we're way too important for that. I agree with Arthur. You're seriously choosing your stupid entitled parents over us Joseph. They ground you every day. No, they don't. You liar. My parents ground me because I've been misbehaving a lot and acting entitled to people, the exact same way that you two do. And neither of you are definitely no parents that I would want. Joseph, you know that we do everything that neither Jane nor David would do with you. We get you whatever you want. And we even take you anywhere you want to go like a Coco Melon concert, or even Chuck E. Cheese's. Yes. Joseph. Please don't leave us just like my daughter Kelly left me. I know it may not seem like it, but we really love you more than Jane and David ever would. You love me, huh? You love me? That is a bold-faced lie. If you really did love me, then you wouldn't have been a bad influence on me. You teach me how to act entitled, not to mention childish, and I often got into trouble by my parents because of you too. I'm sorry to say this but you two are the absolute worst people on earth. And another thing Karen, your daughter left you, because you were a terrible mother to her. You taught her how to act entitled and would often get her into trouble with the police, and thus, she left you and you lost custody of her. So, I'm done being a troublemaker, and that's final, and for as long as I live, I never, and I mean ever, want to see either of you again. No, please Joseph, let's just talk about... No. I'm done talking to either of you, so stay away from me and my family, you monsters. I bid you two a good life, though I hope you guys someday get what you both deserve. Goodbye forever. Joseph Dumptus, 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 Joseph Dumptus. Man, this sucks. I can't believe Joseph is giving up on being a troublemaker. I know right. First Boris, then Cole. Then Chorus, then DW, then Miss Morgan, then Taurus, then Toll, and now Joseph has left us. Can this get any worse? Ugh, who is knocking on the door this time? Officer Kevin? Anne, who are you two? I am Evan Helvis. And I am Phoenix Wright. And we have a very special gift for you, Karen. What? What is the meaning of this? No. This can't be real. Yes, I'm afraid it is. Karen McCarrenson. We are proud to say. You. Just. just got. Got. Served. Served. What the hell are you two bozos talking about? Karen, Jane Reed just gave me a phone call yesterday, and she told me that you are no longer welcome on her property. And if you go anywhere near her property or her kids, then I will be notified, and you will be arrested and put in jail without parole. Got it. No. This is not fair. You can't do this to me and my friends. This should be the other way around. G-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-
No, you, 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 you. This can't be happening to us. Boy, it sure feels good to not be a troublemaker. I didn't throw tantrums in Mr. Parker's class, and I was able to listen to his lectures. Hey, Joseph. Joseph. Tom, and Joey. Yay, fancy running into you here. What are you two even doing here? We were just wondering if you would like to hang out with us. We are no longer grounded. No. In fact, I have something very important to tell you both. Really? What is it? Well, I don't know how to put this nicely, but I don't think we should hang out anymore. What? You're joking, right? No. I'm actually serious. You two are both troublemakers. And you've both been that way ever since you bullied Brian over something he couldn't control. But Joseph, you know very well that Brian is a big time. But Joseph nothing. I no longer want to speak to you both again, and I'm sick and tired of you two talking bad about Brian. But Joseph, you can't end your friendship with us, we make the perfect trio. And Brain and his family should be in preschool because they're all childish. Shut up Joey. No, they aren't. And what Brian said about you two is right, you're both ignorant, and not to mention you cause trouble for not only him but also for others. You almost got Brian held back from middle school, and got me to help you. You changed the breakfast menu at his school, even though the students at Go Animate City Middle School like the new menu. And worst of all, you got me to harass Brian and his family in telling them that they're too old for Dave and Busters, when in fact, it's for people of all ages. So, you know what? I think it's for the best that we go our separate ways, until you two start showing Brian and his family some respect. No. Joseph, you can't do that to us. We've done everything for you. We took you to Chuck E. Cheese's for your birthday, and I even invited you over to my house to watch Wonder Pets and eat pizza. Yeah, you did do those two things for me, right before you both got me in trouble by my parents. So, my decision is final. Our. Friendship is over now you'll both excuse me i need to get home and do my homework for school no joseph please come on don't leave us no you two will not follow me i'm no longer a troublemaker like you two so why don't both of you just leave me alone and stop bothering my son oh mom boy am i glad to see you come on joseph Let's not waste any more time with these two troublemakers. And as for you two, I never want to see you two near my son ever again. You are both a bad influence on him, he even told me that from now on he's going to be defending Brian for whatever happens to him. And I hope that someday, you two will be more respectful towards him and his family, especially since Dave has improved his behavior. Come on Joseph, let's go home. I can't believe Joseph dumped us, and he doesn't like us anymore. I know right, now we don't have a trio anymore. Joseph, I am so proud of you, not only for behaving well at school, but also for standing up to Tom and Joey. I'm so glad that you're beginning to improve your behavior. Thank you so much for that mom, and I'm happy to improve my behavior for the family. This could be the start of a new life for me. Did you guys enjoy the video? Leave a like, comment, subscribe for more, and hit the bell notification to get notified. 
See ya. Have a nice day.